I'm gonna pray to the little gods that I don't have lip gloss on my teeth for this video. Supporting my new melon, or well, my new, this is not my new, supporting my old Melanie shirt because she has announced recently she's gonna be bringing out a film and her new album by the end of this year and I'm already supporting her. I haven't even heard it, I haven't even listened to it yet, but I know it's gonna be amazing. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be doing a new collective haul video because I feel like I haven't done one of these in a while. I, I haven't shown you guys some new stuff that I've recently got and it always feels very unusual when I buy loads of stuff and I haven't spoken to anyone about it. It's kind of like when you come home from a shopping spree and you get in all your outfits and you're like, mum, check me out. And you give your, your mum a catwalk. Has anyone ever done that before? No? Okay. New things that come into my life always feels very odd when I don't let you know, let you... <laughs> God, the only bad thing about sitting by this tree is getting attacked by so many bees. In short, it feels weird to get stuff and not show the stuff. So I've got a big collection. So some of the stuff I actually gathered up from my birthday as well. A lot of people were asking me to do a birthday haul. I don't really honestly ask for a lot on my birthday. I'm not the type of person to get given things that I think you guys would be interested in unless you want me to sit here and show you like incense sticks, candles. There's like weird judgment, stigma attached to those kinds of hauls. So I think I'm gonna start with my Primark collection of stuff because I've been to Primark a couple of times since we last did some form of Primark haul. I can't even remember when I last did a Primark haul, but every now and again, pop into there. It's one of those places that you need to go in for your essentials. And also when you don't even need anything necessarily, it's a perfect spot for just realizing all the things you actually do need when you really, really don't. So guys, meet Henry. <laughs> He was one of those items that were kind of sat there looking at me and I was like, I need to get that. And then I was like, do I need to get that? It's a fiver, pretty good, but do I really need that? And then I kind of left him there and he was like watching me walk off into the distance and immediately I felt so awful. I was like, Henry, I'm so sorry for saying I didn't need you. I definitely do need you. So even though I'm obviously not moved out yet, I'm already looking for things that are color coordinated to the kinds of stuff that we would like. So we want our flat to kind of be dusty pinks, greys, blacks, and whites. <laughs> Henry fits that theme perfectly. So I said to Adam, I was like, hi, question. Would you protest to this being on your front room sofa? I just love him and he's furry and he's soft. I don't know how long he's gonna be soft for. And I've been looking in different home collections now like um, TK Maxx and Primark and all that stuff because it's really cool to um, get a little taste on the kinds of stuff that we would buy as a couple for our place. And um, I nearly got some llama tea towels and I think Adam's starting to get a bit worried about some of my choices. So let's hope he doesn't change his mind about living with me. Also, while I was in Primark buying this, a lovely girl who said that she watches my videos said hello. She served me and she was really sweet. and she said I look taller in person than she expected. I, I take pride in the fact I'm so small, so that made me kind of sad a little bit. But anyway, thank you very much for saying hello. <laughs> I also went to Comic-Con recently. There was a few of you guys there as well that said hi. So thank you so much for that. Hi everyone. It's so nice to be reminded that you guys are actually humans and not just numbers. That sounds very mean. It is so easy to kind of forget that. Anyway, another thing that came from Primark but actually uh, was bought for me because I asked Adam to get me it for my birthday was this mustard yellow jumper. I'm really loving mustard at the moment. I think there's something about the color I just like and it's very autumny so I'm kind of ready for autumn already which makes no sense. But this is a very soft jumper which has a shirt attached to it underneath here as you can see. It's a two in one. I mean it's it's tartan it's it's plaid down here so of course i'm gonna like it and it's got a collar as well so of course i'm gonna like it another mustard thing that i actually got in primark when i recently went in brighton was this little crop here i've worn this in a couple videos now it's got these big brown buttons on it seems as though this has become quite a popular clothing piece at the moment like these um big button uh little tops don't really know where that's come from but i'm seeing it everywhere at the moment and i really love how this looks with my skin tone and with my hair and with fun makeup. At the same time of as getting that, I actually got this crop as well. I won't resist to me getting one if um, I see a really nice one in the shop. <coughs> in the shop, but I do know that I need more bottoms than I do tops. I have loads of tops and barely anything to put them with, but I did get this anyway. It's got these really nice little um, bobbly sleeve edges. I don't even know 
what the right term for that is but it's stripy it's pink white and black um and speaking of me needing more um bottoms i actually went into select in london the other day which i saw another one of you guys shopping there who said hello you were really sweet you kept saying that i was really cute and it was really kind so hello if you're watching don't know if you are but i got i'm gonna try and find all of this stuff for you in the video description i'll do my best on finding stuff sometimes it's difficult to find things online when you went shopping irl but the first thing is this lovely skirt i think this was i mean was this yeah this was 9.99 really good select is really good for things like this how cute is that pattern and also one of the main selling points was it has pockets it fits perfectly it's nice and high waisted it's really cute and it's got a little bit of pink in it i love baby pink and pastel pinks i don't necessarily think they suit me but the actual clothing looks nice but up against my skin tone i don't know if it suits me very well but whatever i went and got another pastel pink skirt this is more of a skater one um they didn't actually have this in a 12 i possibly could have asked her do you have um this in a 12 instead but the thing <coughs> but i wasn't actually too mad with this because of it being a skater skirt you can't really tell if anything it just means they put more material on the actual bottom part bottom half which is really good in an area where i live which is so windy and blowy so it just means this part is heavier if anything and it means it's a bit longer as well so i don't have to worry about my bum coming out so i wasn't really mad about this being bigger than it should have been while in primark i actually got myself some fishnet tights as well these are two pairs for three pound i mean it's it's a staple in my wardrobe fishnets just make Make everything look so much nicer. Primark's always the best place to get fishnets because they're cheap, they're cheerful, they're soft and they always last a long time so thank you Primark for existing. This when I was shopping with my sister in H&M. I don't tend to go in H&M very often because although I love the designs, I love H&M in general, I always see stuff in there I like but the price range is usually not really what I would prefer to spend. I like a bargain me. I prefer having money than I do clothes <laughs> and I didn't even go into H&M for anything. It was my sister who needed something but I saw this hanging there and I was just so in love it's this pink and green flannel shirt it's just i'm so obsessed with this it's quite a big oversized shirt and it is a uh what size was this doesn't actually say h&m sizes are also very shite so um that's another reason why i don't like them and they also when you wash h&m clothes they go a bit funny after a while like they shrink so i totally didn't mind the fact that this was gonna shrink because it's so oversized but i've been wearing this as an actual like tie up shirt instead so i've just been tying up the bottom part i literally yelped inside my little tartan heart cried when i saw this and i wasn't gonna leave the building without it also while i was in select i forgot to tell you this bit while i was in select getting those skirts i also saw this which was actually on offer it was 5.99 seasonal offer seasonal offer seasonal offer or four i don't really know why no one wanted this why this was on offer is beyond me look how gorgeous the straps are mainly got this for the straps just so i can put this underneath something or like wear this under some overalls or just wear it with a nice skirt i don't know it just the lace is so nice it was too nice to say no to it's so so beautiful and i think it it just speaks so much really cute like i'm amazed how cheap that was for such a beautiful product um so i was actually gifted a couple items from a brand called twisted apparel which is basically a gothic alternative clothing store that do twists on disney characters so i've recently bought from them before i discovered them when i was in glastonbury on holiday i don't know if any of you guys remember but i bought my sister or was it scarlet her girlfriend i don't know but i bought them a frozen like elsa and anna shirt that has that, that they're basically taking a selfie in and they're all like tattooed up and pissed and stuff anyway they noticed that i was giving them like these shout outs and i was talking about them and and stuff so she was like do you want me to send you some stuff and i was like please i would adore that so this is the shirt that i chose it's called spirit sisters which is so wicked so basically they are elsa and anna and they're using a spirit board ouija board whatever you want to call it i wore it the other day with just fishnets and some like sh small shorts underneath but it basically looked like i was wearing a t-shirt dress it's so cute i love it just it's one of my favorite items that I, I now officially own. They actually also sent me a really cool pair of earrings, which unfortunately I don't have my ears done. So this is gonna be useless to me, but um, I'm thinking of giving this as a present to someone. Someone else can, 
can give them a loving home. I think if I wore these on my ears though, I would just be asking for for danger. So maybe it's best not to. <laughs> they also popped this in as well, which is a is a tank top and it's Belle from Beauty and the Beast and she looks all sad and emo and gothic and delicious. Can you imagine if Disney actually made a movie with genuine alternative princesses in? Oh, my little alternative heart will explode. God, I nearly, nearly fell over. I also got some over the knee socks. Um, even though it's very hot at the moment, the last thing I'm gonna wanna wear is over the knee socks, but I've been looking for some cheap uh, like fire high socks for a while and they're finally doing them in Primark. At this time of year which is unusual but i didn't really care i just grabbed them because i've been wanting them for ages mainly for the winter or like when it's more autumny or maybe just even a cool summer's night because i like wearing long shirts with um long socks to bed so comfortable especially if you've just recently shaved your legs while i was shopping in london as i was saying we we're popping into primark and select and stuff while i was at comic-con we went into a charity shop because me and adam are big charity shop fans it's one of the first things we bonded over when we got together i found this in the charity shop for 2.99 in, in oxfam the sanctuary spa bauble obviously it was from the christmas range but they were selling off for just 2.99 i don't know if that's good or not i mean i'm assuming that's really good because sanctuary spa isn't i mean it's not expensive but you know like branded things how they like to whack on a little extra cash because they can mainly the contents so it came with some uh body lotion body butter and some wet skin moisture miracle that's one pound per thing i just love the smell i don't really know or care if someone's used a little bit of this but i'm not fussed in the slightest they obviously didn't want it if they gave it away but i'm mainly excited for the body butter here because i love body butter and just the smell of sanctuary spa is so amazing so no matter what it is it's just going to be good you know it's going to be nice if it's sanctuary spa let me know if you like the smell of sanctuary spa speaking of sanctuary spa i was actually given this for christmas i think i have kept this for so long or maybe even longer than christmas i don't know i was given this by adam <sighs> sorry i had to run and go and get this because i forgot it <sighs> and i've been keeping it in the box so i can show you guys um this in a video <laughs> It's literally been so long, but I'm such a big fan of this brand. It smells so delicious. You get the Wet Skin Moisture Miracle, the same as I got in that ball ball. You get body wash, body scrub. Love a body scrub. It's got these like really nice beads in it that you burst and they just drizzle over your body. It's great. A bath float and some body lotion. So you get a lot in here, which is really wicked. I'll, once again, I'll try and link everything down there for you. I don't know how much of this stuff I'll be able to find. So sticking to the gift theme, I'm gonna go through some stuff that I got given for my birthday. I'm not going to be telling you everything that I got be that I got given because some of it is just random bits and pieces but I'm going to show you some of my fave pieces and some things that I think you guys would be most interested in do, 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 do. the it dvd this is something that is very close to my heart it's one of my favorite well it is my favorite film I think out there it it slowly gradually no it actually it was quite an impulsive thing it took over insidious insidious used to be my favorite film i love this now like love 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 the original but i love this probably as much maybe maybe more because the monster's a bit scarier in it i mean a lot scarier in it when i went to comic con i saw a female version of pennywise like a cosplayer and it was so insane i couldn't find her when i wanted to go take a photo of her i saw her by accident when i was in a queue for something and then i couldn't find her again so it was really annoying but <laughs> squishies are a big thing now which i didn't know was an actual like hype at the moment but it is everywhere if you go to a market or a stall somewhere or just like the fair they're everywhere i guess kids are loving these at the moment but i just weirdly got into the obsession of it from adam randomly buying me my very first cactus one about last christmas or two christmases ago i'm finding it really hard to remember what year we're in at the moment but <laughs> they must be floating around on ebay or amazon or something because he started buying them just because he, he found them by accident and then we realized they're a really big thing but he got me this galaxy poop and this really cute milk carton they're really good for when you're sat at the desk and you're one of those people that you fiddle a lot or they might have been good for for anxious people i don't know that doesn't necessarily help me they make me happy they're funny they're silly so i got given those Lorna actually got me a bottle of Jack Daniels, which I accidentally left at her flat. She got me this little um, tea coaster. I'm really excited to use my coasters. I have so many coasters in my bedroom, but there's only one of me in my bedroom. So I've got loads of coasters when I have my flat. 
probably like a couple coasters per room so if anyone wants to bring tea into the office or the kitchen or the dining room or the front room it's absolutely fine this is called the positivity coaster and it's a little mug and it says like never give up you can do it you're awesome good things take time she said that it just screamed my name when she saw it oh I, I'm really glad when people say stuff like that especially if I actually end up liking the product because it just goes to show that I clearly express myself well enough for people to know that I like these things and oh no this has come undone a little bit she also got me a happiness bath bomb uh, selection in this little present here. I haven't opened it yet because I obviously I don't want to use it yet. Uh, bright side bubble bar and the avo bath a bath bomb. It's the avocado. Is it av yeah, avocado lemongrass. And you can smell how nice it's going to be already. Do you remember when I did that bath? bomb review bath review video where i was literally in the bath reviewing products i want to do another one of those again let me know if that was too weird for you or if you'd want that my mom gave me this which was really cool it's like um a vr reality headset just a little thing for fun it's not a game or anything you literally just experience things in vr download the app and you have like unlimited different stuff you can look at like horror stuff it's just so cool and i've never in my life looked at a vr thing before i've never given them a try and i haven't opened this deliberately because i want to try it for the first time with you guys in a video and i think that'll be really fun especially if i can capture the um screen and you guys can watch it with me and experience the horror i got quite a lot of incense sticks for my birthday some of you guys sent me incense sticks and my mum sent me incense sticks i got cinnamon frankincense honey lilac orchid um just a load of a different bunch of incense sticks which is really cool because i'm a big incense person i have a big collection anyway whether i need any more is another thing but hey ho can always accept more and more it's fine i'll just light incense sticks in every room in the house my sister actually got me this which i thought was interesting um i think she got this from primark it's a big pair of lips but basically you clean your makeup brushes on all the different textures on here but yeah you just wipe your brushes on it with soap to clean them which is really good it sounds a little bit duh that's just called a makeup cleaner but for me i didn't really know these were a thing because i'm dumb i literally just used to clean my brushes in the sink and she clearly saw me doing these and got me this instead another cool item that i got given were these llama string lights they're 10 led llamas which i don't know whether to save these for my flat or just put them up i probably will put them up before I leave um but they're so cute and it's like a massive string of these lovely little llamas i'll have to show you and they're like made of metal so they seem kind of cool they're really different they're really silly and just fun and um i think they look really nice i like how they're white as well with pink because once again i'm trying to keep to things of that theme candles i got given a lot of candles i love a candle me this is a fresh cotton candle a mandarin orange and a fresh coconut See, I thought the mandarin would be my favourite one, but the coconut one smells so good. These are by a brand called Wax Lyrical, by the way. They seem kind of luxury. I don't know if they are, but they seem like that. Kate, my sister, actually got me a really cool moonlight, and she actually found this online. I think I saw this spreading around on Facebook, and she said she thought of me straight away. Basically, it's essentially just a moon that you put in a stand, and then it lights up. But the cool thing about it is it actually lights up different kind of colors so i guess you can't really set tell because we're outside but there's a switch and it kind of does a different sort of mood i suppose is the best way to describe it but it's really cute and it looks so nice in your bedroom especially if all the lights are off and it's so i can't, I can't even tell if it's on or off outside here but and you can just put it on the stand here in your room like that and it just looks amazing once again i'll try and find this online for you i'll do my very best wow so now i'm absolutely covered in items um but yeah that was the main gist of everything that i wanted to show you over the past few weeks i hope you like my hauls let me know if you do and you want me to keep them coming because sometimes i don't know if hauls are kind of dead i know that favorites kind of died out so i'm worried that collective hauls will start also fading out into the distance thank you very much for watching everyone if you want to to stay updated to the new things I post here on my channel then make sure you subscribe to my channel I'm also, I'm also on social media such as Twitter Facebook and Instagram so join me on those to keep me up to keep updated on all the latest shenanigans going on behind the scenes thank you very much to my patrons for supporting me all the damn time I love your hearts and faces for now I'm off see you guys very soon bye